snowing. September 10th. Good morning. <laughs> I am up here in the Hiawinas. It is Thursday at about 8.20 in the morning. Uh, 29 degrees as I got out of the truck, so pretty chilly. Um, the parking lot, I uh, just took a, a little video of it. Check this out. Pretty neat, right? That is uh, the benefit of coming midweek. And also uh, September. September is a pretty slow month up here, and uh, it's a great month. It's actually one of my favorite months because there's so few people, and uh, you know the temperatures are, are nice. No wind yet, so we're hoping it, it stays that way. And going back about four miles, uh, slightly off trail to a lake. The lake is typically not fast action, but if you find one, it's typically large. So that's what we're here for. Just one night and uh, should be a good one, so. <sighs> so I'm only into the hike about five minutes and I've had to cross about six blowdowns. Uh, there was a big, big windstorm in the last couple days here in Utah and uh, it is reflecting on the trails up here. A lot of blowdown. The Forest Service will probably have a lot of work cut out for them next season. <laughs> I've been on the trail for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm about three miles back. Uh, about 45 more minutes and I should be at the lake that I've uh, picked to make camp at. The cooler temperatures feel so nice. Oh, it's making hiking just, just great. The high up here today is only supposed to be like 55. And uh, I'm sure it's going to dip into the, the low 20s tonight. So I am prepared for that and I'm looking forward to a, a nice cool night. Okay, so I'm about three and a half miles in and I've made it to the spot where I cut off the trail and go that way. Um, there's a, you know, a nice little pond that's fishable and then a bigger lake back there, which I'm hoping to catch the big fish out of, but uh, we should be there soon, uh, 15 or 20 minutes. All right, uh, two hours, uh, almost exactly two hours and I'm here. Beautiful up here. I have been here before and um, this will be the second or third time I've been here. Never camped, just fished it twice. So um, I think there's a nice campsite on the other side of the lake I'm going to go look for. As to be expected, you know, with uh, one car in the parking lot, hiking in on a Thursday, haven't seen anybody, haven't heard anybody. Uh, it, it'd be pretty rare to see somebody, but you know, awesome. Uh, excited to be here. All right, I have made it to an awesome little camp. Uh, I didn't know this site existed. My friend Christian Paul uh, just told me about this campsite when we were talking about me coming up here. Uh, thanks, Christian, I appreciate the beta. Great spot. Oh man, I am at peace right now. This is incredible, beautiful spot. So I did a couple things different for this trip, well, one thing really. Um, though it's still summer, temperatures are supposed to be really cold tonight. Um, big cold front came in uh, just two days ago and it's still kind of lingering. Uh, so I did bring a zero degree sleeping bag. Uh, it's supposed to get down in the 20s, so that should keep me comfortable, um, more than comfortable. So just an incredible spot, uh, psyched, super psyched to be here. I'm gonna get some coffee going and then I'll be down on the water uh, real quick. 
Um, I'm going to give you one little uh, view of camp from above and kind of the area around me. Just, just incredible. Cheers. Just got this coffee brewed and uh, I'm gonna go sit up on this rock and just enjoy the view and uh, drink this coffee. First calf. Well, I only gave that spot about 10 minutes. Um, you know, I'm gonna move down to these little lily pads right over there. I can actually see a little bit of activity over there. They've been surfacing. Uh, so I'm gonna move down, you know, 10 or 15 yards and A strike. A little nibble. We're gonna reel this one in and re-strategize. <laughs> tough, tough lake. I have pretty much fished the entire lake. Uh, worked my way all the way around it and uh, through a variation of about everything I had. Um, just a few little strikes. So uh, I think I'm gonna backtrack about half a mile to another lake and uh, at least try that one out before coming back here and uh, finishing out the night here. But yeah, about a 10 or 15 minute walk. Okay, I'm here. Uh, this is where I'm gonna get started. Well, I have pretty much fished this lake in its entirety. I've worked my way around it and it's a big lake. Uh, I had a couple rises for a dry fly, but you know, I'm still a, a, fat, a big fat zero. I'm gonna work my way back to my camp and uh, probably filter some water, get a little bit of food, and uh, you know, I'll get at least one more fishing session in before winding down for the night. Oh, it has been a moody day. The sun came out for about 30 minutes and the wind stopped, but uh, it's kind of overcasty again and uh, a little bit windy. The wind's been pretty constant all day. It hasn't been too bad, but with these chillier temperatures, it, it makes it feel a little cold. So I'm just taking a little break. Um, gonna walk around camp, maybe right up onto this little uh, ridge here and uh, take a look, but. I imagine I'll be back down on the water pretty soon. This is where my party stops, I'm tired. I'm gonna sit down for a minute and just soak in the view. Beautiful, unbelievable. I like it. All right, so it is uh, five o'clock and my plan is to go down to the water and I'm gonna fish for about an hour. Then I'm gonna come back up to camp and have dinner a little bit early. I wanna have dinner before it gets too cold. Um, and then depending on what it feels like, I'll go back down and finish out the night down on the water. I can't believe it's snowing right now. It's still summertime. Here's my little update. Uh, <laughs> it is snowing right now. It's early September. Uh, precipitation report prior to leaving was none, and uh, it looks pretty ugly over there. 
So luckily I have that new uh, Garmin InReach Mini and I'm going to pull a weather forecast just to make sure that something bad isn't coming in. It's still early enough that I could pack up and be out of here in, you know, two, two and a half hours and it, it wouldn't be dark yet. So I am going to do that real quick and uh, we'll uh, go from there. I am feeling really good about that Garmin InReach purchase for this season. Um, great investment. So it's really hard to tell, but it is snowing just a little bit. And I just pulled a weather report. Uh, sent, it came right to my phone and I'm showing a 10% chance of rain from right now until eight o'clock. And then uh, it's good until about midnight. Then it shows there's another 10% chance of rain for like another hour. Uh, with how cold it is, it could turn into a little bit of snow if it does rain, but I am not, uh, I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. I'm prepared for that. I got a zero degree bag and, uh, we're going to get fishing. All right. New camera battery, new fly, the smallest thing in my arsenal right now. So small I can barely see it out there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just a little fingerling. Well, I'm not going to get skunked. <laughs> that was so small. Last cast, then we'll go have some dinner. Snowing. This is incredible up here. A pretty big snow flurry just passed, but anyway, I just filled up my water. I've got dinner started. Uh, really looking forward to getting a hot meal in my stomach. It's just gonna be unbelievable. The weather does appear to be uh, clearing. Who knows? Uh, I'm hoping to get one more fishing session in. After I eat, I'd like one more fish, even if it's just one of those little guys. I'm fine with that. Got my little pot right there, which is big enough for pack of red potatoes and then I'm gonna mix that chicken in with it. It's gonna be good. Some potatoes. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I totally thought I grabbed my uh, chicken creations but it was the tuna creations and I didn't even, I was looking right at it and didn't even realize it was tuna until I put it in my potatoes. <laughs> uh, you know, it still should be pretty good. I'm gonna eat it. I'm starving. What do you do? <laughs> Rowdy weather. I just finished dinner. It was really good. Uh, you know, the tuna fish just blended perfectly with that mashed potato meal. I've got a bigger bug on and I'm going to move down the lake uh, just a little ways, 20 or 30 yards to another spot that has a pretty good opening. And I'm going to give it one last rally. Uh, I've probably got about 30 to 45 more minutes before it starts getting pretty dark and pretty cold. So. Tough, tough day on the water, as you saw. <laughs> I came here uh, specifically for big fish and caught a four inch, a four inch little brook trout. It's better than being skunk though, I tell you what. There's no uh, fires up here right now, there's some restrictions in and we're certainly gonna respect that. But it's warmer right now than it has been all day. The winds died down. So I'm gonna go uh, put my chair up over here on the rock and just watch the sunset, read my book until it gets too dark to do so, and then I'll uh, check in from my tent before bed. Great day. Wow, yeah, I can see my breath. I've been able to see my breath for about an hour. My uh, Garmin's telling me it's only 36, so it's not, it's not unreasonable cold at all. It's just been, been a little windy, but overall had a great day. I'm in my tent, uh, it's, only like 8.30. 
I've got a few movies on my phone. I've got my book here next to me. I, you know, I don't know if I'm going to read or watch a movie, but we're fixing to wind down. And uh, we'll see you all in the morning. Good morning. It's, uh, it's about 7 o'clock. I'm um, just kind of getting up. I'm going to do some coffee from my vestibule just to let it warm up uh, a little bit longer. And then my plan is to kind of get up, get packed up, and uh, hike out of here. Had a good night. Uh, I slept really warm, probably too warm. This zero degree was overkill. It was. Uh, I woke up a few times because I was too hot. I had to keep opening it up to, to vent. But anyway, we're going to get the coffee going. Uh, we'll get packed up, and then we'll check in. All right. It's about 7.40. Finished my coffee, got packed up, and uh, working my way back to the truck. I probably said it earlier, but I'm about four miles away. There is a pond that I'm going to check out on my way back. It's about a mile away. Um, I've had success there in the past. Nothing, nothing big at all. A bunch of small little brook trout, but if it looks like they're active this morning, I'll probably get my Tenkara rod out. If not, you know, this is it. So we'll see. I met that little pond that I wanted to fish. Uh, pretty fun fact, uh, the first fish I ever caught using a fly was off this little pond. I'm gonna drop my pack. I'm gonna shed this uh, down jacket that I have. It's warming up. I imagine I'll get that 10 car rod out and toss a, toss a line in. We'll see if we can't hook into another little one before leaving. Amateur tip of the day. Always store flies in the top of your fly tube. This way I don't have to dig out my fly box that's buried in my pack. I like to carry a variety right there for this very reason. Had a strike. In 20 minutes there, I had just as much action as I did all day yesterday. I haven't put my rod away. I'm gonna walk up to the bigger lake, uh, which is on my way out of here. And let me get over that log. And I'm gonna make a couple casts in there, kinda on the, uh, on the deep side there. Won't be there long. Maybe another 20 minutes at the most. No fish here either. Uh, there is quite a bit of activity here. Uh, I just didn't feel like breaking out my big, uh, my big fly rod. So anyway, it has just been a, it's been a really great trip. It's Friday, about a quarter after nine. Haven't seen anybody today, so I'll be at my truck in about 45 minutes, and then uh, we'll just catch you all in the next one.